Hello, I'm Larry Woods. Of all the annual or classic competitions that we turn out for that involve trained animals, it can be said that the majestic prancing of a grand champion Tennessee walking horse is pure artistry in motion. Nothing quite compares to a calm, handsomely groomed rider putting a barrel-chested stallion through its military strut. But the unique prance and the precise gait we associate with walking horses does not always evolve through bloodline alone. You see, some critics charge that many walking horses, most of all those competing at blue ribbon contests, are conditioned by intense pain over many months in order to lift their hooves chest high. Others say the weighty chains and padded shoes those horses wear inflict no more resistance or pain than a person wearing a heavy bracelet all day. The most controversial question is whether chemicals are used to blister the horse's ankles and to conceal the scars caused by the chains. So we ask special assignment correspondent Sheila Hershow to hang out with the horse he set for several months and give us a report on why some champion walkers strut the way they do.